Hello, and welcome to my um, uh, my theory video, or more so just my, you know, fleshing out of uh, game mechanics, uh, for specifically for StarCraft II, the Heart of the Swarm DLC. Um, I feel like this fits the most into kind of like the, into the general theme I'm trying to fit for Arbiters of Genos, as well as um, has some mechanics that can be fleshed out even further into the idea that I have. Um, but it all starts down here in this evolution pit. Um, so this guy, Abather, his whole role um, to Kerrigan is to basically uh, help reconstitute, morph, and change, and upgrade your units. Um, but specifically, these evolution missions help flesh it out to a whole new level. Um, you know, I can select these guys here, and I'm able to pick different smaller aspects that I can change, just movement buffs, stuff like that. But if I go into the evolution mission, ready for augmentation. Unique. he incorporates kind of the idea that I'm looking for more so, where based on the environment that the units are in, he's offering upgrades that are reflective of other animals and other um, beings that are there. And like they absorb that he uses their essence and morphs them into the strain or into the uh, into the units themselves um, and he'll provide a, like a light explanation of you know how we got to this point um, and I also feel that this could be useful to kind of flesh out what ideas could happen out of reach. Adaptation required. Um, so it gives like a little explanation of what the animals do individually before they're um, absorbed into the swarm itself. And this is also kind of indicative of um, like the hive mentality as well as, you know, like the, the, spread the spreading kind of... Um, environment that the hive leave behind which is also kind of indicative of what i want but more so this specific system of adding mutations based on environmental factors and having the choice uh for the player either for themselves or for the units that they might control um, to evolve they evolve live on the field right there Let's see them in action. Delivering additional circles now. Thank you, thank you, great. Um, so then with these guys here, you know, it gives you like an extra jumping ability, more leaps to close on slow-mo. Scales cliffs. Gives you more movement in combat. More options for flanking in general these guys up here you know I feel like we could get like I could get super creative with how with what various enemies are incorporated or mutated into my own um, I think this is a really cool system to allow the player to kind of choose and also see the uh, the results of kind of what they're looking for or like what what the results of what the options are available to them this is just one of two. Outpost destroyed. Next strain ready for testing. And even down to the smaller aspects of just changing like small percentages um, of, Planet you know, Astrid like having three. more passive upgrades Feral instead of having to mode. choose a hard ultimatum um, is something that I'd like to kind of keep in mind. Feral um, hatcheries evolved unique adaptation. Morph zerglings very fast. Yeah, this is pretty useful as well. Swarmling strain. And even down to a you know, a less combat focused upgrade and a more utility focused upgrade where you can spawn two at a time instead of just one. Um something really cool like this. Dominion incoming, more flava into swarming strain. There's just too many. And just keep it going. 
but I think there's a lot of room for stuff like this in Arbiters of Genos, especially because you're taking a more hands-on approach um, when it comes to you know the aspects of the story and you controlling Marcus Kane um, and leading the swarm yourself. Um, while I don't fully intend for it to be like an RTS, and I know it kind of is laid out in a lot of facets like that, um, I still think there's a lot of room for creativity in how it's presented. Um, but the main thing is about um, getting stronger from your environment and, you know, basing new upgrades off of that. Um, and also just having, you know, um, different aspects of the Genos or different type of Genos that are based off of these environmental factors as well. Um, so it could just come down to, you know, siding with a certain planet over another planet um, or, you know, certain tribes over other tribes and that can kind of fit this ultimatum in the same way. Um, but yeah. Dominion dead. Swarmling test concluded. And probably even a character similar to Abathur where, you know, their whole specialty is, to evolution bit. you know, conducting the evolution of the swarm that you run. Sequences and then there's this pretty cool too. You get, like, visual distinctions decision. between each one, as well as, like, a small, you know, just overview of, you know, what it does and how it can help. You know, I'll go with the raptor. Evolution complete. Uh, so yeah, that's the pretty much the general idea. Uh, thanks you. Thanks so much for watching.